she got back to her bed, she was in the hospital. Her daughter was sitting up in the bed, holding her grandchild, who had been healed of a deadly, incurable blood disease. Because I've got a vicious do miracle, he's still doing miracles. And we begin to declare uh, there's power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. And the pastor of that school, he came to me and he said, just this week, three of our students got into a car accident that was very, very bad. And one of the students right now, she's lying in the hospital, streaming in right now, and she's paralyzed from the waist down. She's not responding to anybody. I can't increase your faith. I don't do nothing else today. Y'all ain't got to bring me back, but I came to tell you about miracles. We begin to sing there's power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. And for about five minutes, we started interceding over her behalf. Her name was Ruth, and we started calling her name. God, go to that hospital and heal Ruthie's body. In the middle of us singing that song, the pastor walked up to me and tapped me on the shoulder, and he showed me his phone. It was a text message from Ruthie's mama who said, Mountains are still being 